the shock and awe that is inextricably linked to the dangers of war have never been a laughing matter, which makes it all the more peculiar that Air Force veteran Aurelio Bocanegra decided to pursue a career in comedy that went beyond just making his buddies laugh. When you go to the Middle East, it could either suck or you can have fun with it. And so that's what I did. I just made fun of it. I just joked and cracked and I used to make all the guys that I was serving with, I used to make them laugh so hard. For years, they used to tell me, you gotta try it, man. You should try stand-up comedy. After completing several tours of duty, Aurelio began crafting his comedy skills from funny man off the battlefield to bona fide stand-up comedian. <laughs> start off thinking, as soon as you start, George Lopez can be like, hey, I heard about your one show. <laughs> no, it takes years of working out. I did an open mic, it was pretty rough. Because <laughs> like I said, you don't just start off and then it, it happens. It takes work, just like anything. Any job you do, you gotta work at it. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> I get into stuff that's that's real, you know, topical. Just current stuff, things that we all deal with, no matter where, you know, if you're from the middle America or from a big city, you, we all deal with a lot of the stuff that I talk about. You're going in, you're all drunk, trying to kiss a girl, and she's doing the Matrix on you. Which <laughs> has never happened to me, by the way. It's never happened to me. Obviously, I address that I am Latino, you know, especially with my name, Aurelio Miguel Bocanegra. When you have one of those names, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's definitely, you know, it's not like I'm slipping him like, no, no, I'm from Africa. Eventually, his rapid-fire comedy, along with his name, began turning up on comedy club marquees everywhere, including the world-famous Improv as the host of one of the club's signature theme nights known as Refried Friday. Refry Fridays, it's the place to be as far as, you know, a Latino comic on Friday nights because there's not that very many big time venues, especially here in Hollywood. It gives us the biggest stage in front of the right people. If there are any people right now that are a fan of the Oakland Raiders, make some noise! If you can do the same jokes in front of one audience, like a Latino audience, that you can in front of a white or a black or an Asian or whatever, and they all work, then your jokes are working. There's a place for gentlemen, it's not cheap. It's called the Gentleman's Club. Yeah. The war veteran may have spent years away from home, but the funny thing is, now that he's back, Boca Negra has found the stage to be his permanent home. When you go on stage, you gotta give a piece of who you are. They gotta take something from you. I definitely embrace it, you know? But then again, that's all I've ever known.